headed back out on the road, heading towards Lions, Kansas, to the salt place. It delivers on Sioux City on Monday, so they're having me take it out to the drop yard. Hopefully, turn around and keep me going. stopped here because I want to take advantage of my shower credits. Uh, I'm going to see when I get down here where's the next place I can make it to.
guy blew a coolant line or something, but his engine wasn't running, so I think it'd be a good idea to knock. If his engine was running, I'd holler at him. But he might not even be in there. He might be at a hotel somewhere. Got a nice hot, got a nice lukewarm shower, I should say. I don't know why, but it seems like the last few loves I've went to, they've limited the uh, the hot water. You know, like you can turn it all the way towards as far as it'll go, and it's only just like a little bit way into the hot side, and it's not super hot water. I don't, I don't know why that is. Maybe they need to reduce the amount of hot water you use so they don't run out. But this place only had two showers, so I don't know how they could run out of hot water unless they had a really crappy heater. Some of these truck stops have seven, eight showers. And they don't run out of hot water. never not suck to stop with three hours of distance left when you're not tired you know the sun will be up in an hour or two I could be getting there what nine o'clock in the morning take my break there instead of here I could be rolling off of fresh hours or whatever I don't feel like going to bed. Them's the brakes though. Unreal. Well, that would be the last time I pull into this place unless I have to go to that blue beacon. Freaking lot, it's garbage. There's a, a foot and a half deep holes right there in the middle of the damn parking lot. Come on, Petro, get your act together. Fill up the potholes, man. You don't make enough money off us drivers to fill up potholes?
cut me off less than a barely a truck link, a pickup truck length ahead of me. If it's it's the middle of the night, so he could have cut me off like that, and then a deer or a cow or whatever jumped out in front of him, and he'd have to slam on his brakes, and I'd have rear-ended him and pushed him off in the ditch, possibly ending his life. All because some dipshit behind him was in a hurry and flashing his lights. Don't let somebody else's you know, impatience cause you to do something dangerous. That's into my rant. General rule is don't let anybody direct you on the highway unless they got red and blues on. Just because somebody's flashing their lights at you doesn't mean you need to act. Hurry up, buddy. We got places to be. Hey, too far. Too far. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go truck. Well, I'm not taking the northern route. I know that. About the time I'd be.
be getting to western Wyoming and northern Utah, there's a snowstorm coming. Duck down and go towards, go through Oklahoma, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada. It only adds like 80 miles, and I am gonna go around that storm. Legal. So if you get any ice cream, tell me.
truck, hey there. truck just, basic. Just the truck wash basic? Yep. Gotcha. about five hours from Henderson taking a 34 here but I had an idea about a way to get you guys a little more involved and engaged in the videos I know a bunch of you are truck drivers so if you're a truck driver and you have like a good truck stop that you really enjoy and that you'd like to you know shed a little light on you can put the city, state, and name of the truck stop in the comments and I'll write it down in a book and I'll try to go to those. I'll pick some and whenever I'm going to that area, I can cross reference and see if there's any place there that you guys have suggested. <laughs> Even if you're not a truck driver, if you just have a place in your hometown or wherever you're at that you think I should see and you know it's either walkable or has Uber or has truck access, I'll try to do it. That way, you guys have a reason to go in the comments and kind of get you involved in the making of the video a little bit. How you doing, buddy? Are you being weird? Are you giving me weird waggy tail eyes? Anyway, 
that's the end of this one. I'll uh, kind of stuck here for the next 34 hours and then go get this thing delivered and haul back ass back up to Lamar's.